In this demonstration of Newton's third law, we're going to use the recoil of a cannon to demonstrate that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Now instead of gunpowder as our explosive charge, we're going to use liquid nitrogen. And instead of a cannonball, we're going to use this plastic bottle here. Now, at room temperature, nitrogen is usually a gas. Uh, in fact, it makes up about 75% of the air you're breathing right now. Uh, however, if you cool it way down, you can turn it into a liquid. And that's what we're using in this demonstration. So here I want to show you some of the liquid nitrogen. So I pour it in this beaker, and of course, as it heats up to room temperature, it boils off, turns back into the nitrogen gas. And you can see that, because if I close this beaker, that gas is expanding. And it expands and can blow up this balloon here. But of course, this is a demonstration of gas expansion. It's Newton's third law. So let's get back to it. First thing we do is we pour some of our liquid nitrogen into the barrel of the cannon. As soon as we have enough liquid nitrogen in the cannon barrel, it starts turning to gas immediately. So we take our bottle, we insert it in the mouth of the cannon, and we hammer it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, the last step is to close the valve here and let the pressure build up inside the cannon barrel. So as that liquid nitrogen boils off, we're going to see the pressure build up and the bottle start to start to come out the other end. And as soon as it reaches critical pressure, I think I put a hole in the wall. <laughs> okay, so we know exactly what the action was. Now what was the reaction? Let's watch it again in slow motion. The bottle shooting to the right, that's the action. And the reaction is the cannon rolling back to the left. All right, I hope you have a good understanding of Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Now I guess it's time to patch that hole in the wall. Well, I'll see you next time.